everyone, welcome to this week's episode. It's going to be the last episode of this season and I want to thank everyone who's watched from the beginning and watched all the videos up till now or maybe this is your first one. Either way, thank you for uh, checking this out. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to wrap up this series where I talk about my favorite movies. Um, like I said a couple weeks back, these last three episodes have been about uh, the movies that I've consider my absolute favorites of all time these are movies that when people ask me what's my favorite movie you know this is what I bring up so more often than not this is the movie that I say is my favorite movie and it's called The Book of Eli um, this movie is also turns 10 years old this uh, today um, not today but this year um, it came out in 2010 it's a movie that uh, I'm not sure. It's not a super popular film. I not a lot of people have seen it. Um, it wasn't even one that was like you know. It was. It got some good reviews and everything like that. It wasn't you know a super like stellar film in that it won a bunch of awards and a lot of people talked about it. But for me, when I first saw this movie, it just absolutely like blew my mind and like most of the movie I'm sitting there with my mouth open and just like in shock of how amazing this film is and you know looking back at it yeah it might not be like it's not a perfect movie no movie is like I've said before um it's not even considered one of the best movies ever made but you know for me it's a movie that was that was very cool in a lot of different ways and I'm always a story guy and I just absolutely love the story in this movie um, it's a post-apocalyptic movie about a, uh, a loner, he's a drifter, a guy that kind of just, he's journeying through this vast wasteland, uh, you know, trying to get to the, he's trying to get to the sea. He has a very specific mission, he's trying to take this secret book from where he's at, you know, to the sea, to the special place where it needs to be. Um, and it's just the crazy adventure that he has along the way and the people he meets and the stuff that he deals with. And um, that main character is played by Denzel Washington. And Denzel Washington is one of my favorite actors. And I think it's the absolute coolest uh, hero character that he's ever played. Um, probably one of the coolest characters he's ever played. Um, he, again, he's a guy kind of like... Um, Leonardo DiCaprio, who, who's like, he's just good in everything he's in. Uh, he doesn't really have a bad performance. Um, if he does, it's, I don't know if I've seen that, um, but of all the movies that I've seen and all the movies and roles that I know he's, he's done, uh, he doesn't really have a bad performance. So this is one where it's no exception, where he just, Denzel has a bar that is just so high above so many other actors. Um, especially the ones that he's often in in movies that no one else can really match. Um, there are definitely movies out there where people come close, like American Gangster and Fences, and um, you know, what was that Glory and a couple other movies where you know they there are other characters and other actors in that film that come you know that even might surpass or like match that. But more often than not, the dude is just so far above everyone else um but this is a movie that i think you know other characters and other actors in this film do a good job of you know coming close to uh gary oldman plays the villain and he's a guy that i think he's a another great fantastic uh character actor that um does a great job as the villain in this film and he's super fun to watch and super interesting to watch uh, as the villain. Uh, Mila Kunis is also in this movie and she does a great job with her role I think. Um, she kind of raises her game a little bit. You know she's come a long way since that 70s show and I think this uh, kind of proved it. Um, not a super big role in this movie but one in a, uh, that's important and I think it's enough screen time that you can kind of you know get a real appreciation for the performances the performance that she gives. Um, but the reason why I like this movie so much is, like I said, the story is really cool and interesting. And um, when you get to the, uh, by the end of the movie and the plot of it and everything that it's about, um, it's, it's a story that and a theme that 
goes along with my personal views and uh, my own personal uh, faith and uh, one that gives a message that I very much agree with and the um, and the importance of uh, the, the the point of the movie I don't want to give it away because it's one of those I really I really want people to see it and watch it and you know get an understanding of it but that that's the big reason why I like it so much. There aren't, there aren't too many movies that there aren't too many mainstream movies that can take uh, that have taken my faith that I have and portrayed it in a way that is a way that like not just is in a way that's respectful in a way that I agree with you know from what the lesson and the main message is trying to give, but also you know, it also does a cool job of making it cool and making it interesting and making it, you know, appeal to a wider audience, I think. Um, you know, it's got it's got a lot of action in it. It has some amazing fight sequences in it uh, that are, you know, they're, they can be a little on the bloody side, so it's definitely not a movie for kids. Uh, it's got some a little bit of language in it here and there uh, that definitely isn't one for younger ears so it's not something that oh you can sit your whole family down in front of it it's not that kind of movie but it's definitely a movie that you know I think for older audiences more mature audiences audiences that you know maybe aren't looking for a they're maybe looking for you know something actiony and cool but also you know something with some deeper more profound uh, things to think about you know uh, I think it does a good job of doing that and uh, which is a big reason why I like it but another reason why I like it so much and I was just thinking about this recently you know Book of Eli was one of the first movies not the first movie that I've seen that had a black character as the hero but and it's not it's nowhere near one of the first movies ever made that the black you know character is the hero um, or black actor plays the hero but it was one of the first that I saw I think that gave me a larger than life black action hero you know Again, not the first one to be made. This is just the first one that I happened to see at that point in my life that gave me an image that me as a, you know, young black boy growing up and, you know, a teenager and, you know, now a young man that when I look back at all the action movies and stuff that I just, you know, I love and all the movies on this list that I love, you know, there aren't a lot, especially in the action genre, on the mainstream you know, popular, big budget, talk, highly talked about, critically acclaimed list of movies where the main lead character is a black male and an action hero. And that is something that appealed to me with this movie. It's like, you know, there are several different fight scenes where Denzel just owns it and it's the coolest thing to watch and it was the coolest thing for me to watch you know, in the theater at the time when I was a teenager, and it just, it's, it's a beautiful thing, I think, that movie does more than anything else, along with the story, so, uh, that's why this movie means so much to me, um, and why it's my absolute favorite, it was able to take two huge parts of my personal identity, my you know, Christian faith, and the fact that I'm a, a, a black man, and, I was able to get both of those screen, both of those things on screen with this movie, um, and that's why it just sticks out in my head so much. That's why I love it so much. You know, by no means is it the greatest movie ever made or anything like that, but it's my you know personal favorite of all these movies that I've talked about because of those two things right there, and um, the fact that it could take those two things and pull them together in a way that was stylish, cool, mostly original, like it feels like a graphic novel, like a superhero comic book movie, and it's a completely original script. Um, 
you know, and all those things. It's got a lot of cool style stuff from a cinematography standpoint. It's one of the first cameras, uh, first movies to be shot on the RED camera uh, when it came out uh, back in the uh, early 2000s. And, um, you know, it, it's, 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 it's a very beautiful film. The soundtrack is great. It has all these different elements that make a great movie. But then when you take, you know, the plot which deals with um, Christian uh, uh, faith-based themes, you know, and the underlying theme of the plot, and then, you know, the fact that the lead character is a black man, you know, I think that that's what makes it appeal to me so much, and that's why, you know, I love it so much, and I will always mention that as, like, probably my favorite movie when people ask me, and... Uh, that's why I love it so much, you know, and that's why it's important, you know, as, you know, time goes on, it's important that, you know, there's diversity in movies, not just from actors and actresses, but also in the stories that we tell and that, you know, movies that deal with religion and, uh, faith and all these other, you know, things that we as humans, you know, live with in our lives that are important to, you know, people, it can be told in a way that is still mainstream and that is still uh, entertaining but also thought-provoking and inspiring and you know why um, you know what makes us you know human beings and what makes us individuals and uh, things like that so uh, those are the kind of movies that I want to make um, every one of these movies that I've talked about you know on this list are the kind of movies that I would like to make but you know, all those things that I've just said are like the biggest things that I really want to put into uh, the movies that I create. So that's why Book of Eli is uh, one of my absolute favorites, is my absolute favorite. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Those are all of my favorite films. I'm not going to recap them here because this you know video has already gone on for so long. But um you can go back and watch all the videos from this season to know what my favorite films were. Uh, just in case if this happens to be the first one you watched. Either way, thanks for watching, whether this is your first one, whether you've watched all of them up until now. Thank you so much for checking them out. Thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel and following the, uh, my Instagram page and watching all these videos and everything. Just, you know, thanks a bunch. Um, I've enjoyed making these videos. I do plan to make more. Um, you know, if uh, time allows and, you know, things work out. Uh, so you know, hopefully this won't be the last season, but if it is, for whatever reason, you know, enjoy these, uh, share them with your friends and family. And yeah, so thanks so much to everyone. Again, I've been saying thanks a lot. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. But thank you. Take it easy. Stay frosty out there. And uh, catch you later.